Alfred Wilson Boulevard, 6th floor, Arlington, Virginia, 22209. Weekdays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Good morning, America. Deadly attack on the Las Vegas Strip overnight. A woman driver with a three-year-old in the back seat mows down pedestrians outside the city's biggest casinos. At least one person killed, dozens hospitalized. The driver in custody this morning. Police saying it was intentional, searching for answers right now. War of words. Hillary Clinton on the defensive this morning after going after Donald Trump at our ABC News debate. He is becoming ISIS's best recruiter. Trump now calling her a liar. The two front runners facing off. Out of this world mistake, the wrong Miss Universe crown last night. Host Steve Harvey with the epic error. I have to apologize. The first runner up is Colombia. Confusion as the runner up learns she actually won, what they're both saying about one of the most awkward moments in pageant history. And the force is strong with Star Wars The Force Awakens, the biggest opening in movie history, shattering all kinds of records, but the dark side prevailing in one Hollywood theater where the projector broke down. And the movie star with the biggest surprise of all. Live in Times Square. This is Good Morning America. And Good Morning America. Happy Monday. What a weekend for Star Wars. You know, the numbers are still coming in. They could go even higher. And I know you saw it in a the theater, Dan. Crowds are just cheering me. Absolutely. It really brought me back to being seven years old, which is not hard to do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but in this case. <laughs> yes, in this case, it was effective and uh, I think instructive. Also, a big weekend for our GMA family, Ginger and her husband, Ben. Welcome to that little baby boy. Great to see him. Adrian Benjamin. He is a big boy, too, 20 inches long, seven pounds, eight ounces. And everyone's doing great. Everyone is doing great. We have a lot to get to. Uh, this morning, storms moving in across the country. They could have a big impact on holiday travel for tens of millions of Americans. But we are going to begin with that breaking news overnight. Horrifying scene on the Las Vegas Strip. That driver intentionally slammed into a crowd of people, killing one, injuring dozens. ABC's Kana Whitworth starts us off in Las Vegas. Good morning, Kana. Yeah, George, good morning to you. I have to tell you, it is very eerie to see an empty Las Vegas Boulevard. And if you look behind me, the lights of the Paris Hotel, they're off right now. This is as crews are working to clean up after that terrifying hit and run that killed one person and injured several others. Overnight, a horrifying scene on the Las Vegas Strip. She accelerated again and just kept mowing everyone down. Police say a woman drove her car off the road and intentionally into a crowd on the sidewalk two even three times killing one person and sending 30 people to the hospital all of this with a three-year-old toddler in the car it looked like she wasn't even trying to stop the car she had both of her hands on the wheel and was straight forward it was just before 7 p.m sunday night like oh my god what is going on you know this is las vegas you know this is christmas Crowds gathered in front of the Paris Hotel, one of the busiest intersections on the famous strip, when the Oldsmobile veered into the sidewalk. This morning, the driver in custody. Do we have this driver in custody? That's affirmative. She's in custody with 8 Mary 3 at the Tuscany Casino. Police saying she's not from the area and may have been driving for a day. Over a dozen remain in the hospital, three still in critical condition. Police saying the child in the car is uninjured. Why this, why us, why did this happen and what really happened? We have determined that this is an intentional act. That means that our LVMPD homicide section will be handling the investigation. Now I guess the biggest police lieutenant who tells me he does believe that that child is now in. He also told me they have cameras in the area. So they are right now combing through that footage. They also plan to reopen Las Vegas Boulevard as soon as they can. George. Well, the big question, why? Okay, Kana, thanks very much. The race for president, all the fallout from Saturday's Democratic debate, it triggered a new war between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Liar, she's not backing down. Here with the story. Good morning, Cecilia. Hey, George, good morning to Yes, and there are now serious questions about whether such a video even exists. What is certain, one of the main targets during that debate wasn't anywhere near that stage.
This morning, Hillary Clinton on the defensive after going on the offensive against Donald Trump. He is becoming ISIS's best recruiter. They are going to people showing videos of Donald Trump insulting Islam and Muslims in order to recruit more radical jihadists. That claim made during Saturday's debate, but there's no evidence to back it up. Clinton's campaign unable to prove such a video exists communications director on this week. He is being used in social media ISIS, as propaganda. She didn't have a particular video in mind. Trump firing back on Twitter saying Clinton lied and doubling down. She just made it up. She made it up. It was a sound. On oh, that debate man, stage, three candidates, well, there was I'll one big elephant in that room. Well, I apologize. Bernie Sanders apologized for the campaign's breach of Clinton's private voter duties. Two more staffers suspended this weekend. This is not the type of campaign that... I very much appreciate... Um, that uh, comment. Clinton Center the absent when a trip to the bathroom during a commercial break ran a little long. Sorry. The laughter. Another stage Saturday. <laughs> On SNL, this joined by ghosts of Christmas past. Aren't you worried about the Republicans? Their front runner. <laughs> Just tell me. <laughs> and send a bunch of emails. <laughs> it was so good. The campaign trail offering a here in the studio offering a lot of far Clinton, though, is taking a lot of heat this morning. It's using Donald Trump in recruitment. White House and the National Security about those claims. George, both say they are unaware of any video. Yeah, and the campaign could not produce them. Okay, Cecilia, thank you very much. Let's go to John Carl for more on this right now. Is taking some heat uh, for that. But she comes out of the debate in a pretty strong position. Oh, absolutely. Hugely nationally. Bernie Sanders, that strong in the early states. George, are in Iowa. Hillary Clinton has a digit lead outside of the margin of error. In Hampshire, Bernie Sanders has consistently been the front runner. But in the most recent polls, his lead is actually. Strong. In the most recent poll, Boston poll, he was up by just two. A, uh, to a much bigger lead back in August. Uh, inside the margin of error, dead heat in Hampshire right now. And, you know, Donald Trump pounced on the Clinton yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, and he really uh, was there in the debate Saturday night. In fact, if you take a look at this extraordinary graphic of uh, how many various candidates were mentioned, you see that Trump mentioned nine, this, is a, this graphic is actually incredible, nine times all the other candidates Single time. Not mentioned at all. Finally, they're also taking some heat from ISIS. Uh, absolutely. She said during the debate, we are finally where we need to be when it comes to ISIS. Republicans are pouncing on that during the debate and now has put out a video uh, looking at all the very things that happened in San Bernardino, Paris, saying, no way are we where we need to be. Hey, John Carl, thanks very much. Breaking news we're now a bomb scare on board a packed Air France jet. This device turned out to be harmless, but this morning one is in custody. ABC's Terry Moran has all the latest. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Lara. Police arrested a man this morning as he arrived at Charles de Gaulle Airport just outside Paris. He is the prime suspect in a frightening incident. This morning, not just who built this, but why. A sinister looking construction with a timer on top. According to media, it's the fake bomb found aboard that air which was en route overnight to Mauritius. A Boeing 777 carried 473 passengers. One passenger discovered the suspicious object in the restroom cupboard, and the plane diverted from on the ground. Emergency slides. Everyone evacuated and whisked away. But investigators quickly determined it was all box. The thing was just cardboard, paper, and Air France's president. Was this a joke? Was this a practical joke? Or was somebody actually testing the system, seeing if they could get elements of a bomb through the, through the security system uh, at Mauritius and into an airport, some airborne? In custody was a passenger on the French flight. French prosecutors tell us he is apparently a retired.
hired police officer from the island of Ray. Traveling with his wife, though, she's not. It's all just very bizarre. Joy. Boy, it sure is. Makes sense. Thanks very much. You can't blame travelers for being in the edge this holiday season, and a record of Americans are expected to be on the move this year. AAA projects more than a million holiday travelers for the first time ever. It's currently at a gas station in Alexandria, Virginia. Gas prices really fueling the surge. And they're going to continue. George, you can see here at the gas pump, very good news. And oil hit an 11 year low, so expect this to go down even more. 181 overnight that it's national surge gas at $1.99 a gallon. It's also AAA that there's 100 million of us are going to be traveling, George. 90%, more than 90% will be driving. The good news is if you are driving, leave tomorrow because a website says traffic is busiest on Wednesday and Thursday. So get out the door quickly, George, if you can do that in a voice. And if you're traveling by train, some big safety news. Yeah, overnight for the first time in effect between Washington and New York. This is a system that can automatically stop going too fast. It would have prevented that derailment in Philadelphia that killed eight people, George. Okay, David Curley. Right, George, now to that wild pageant. You can see it right here. Miss Columbia on the winner Sunday night. Only problem was she didn't actually win. Turns out Harvey just announced the wrong name. AC is here to explain it all. Good morning. It's better to have been crowned and lost than never have been crowned at all. Do not tell that to Miss Columbia this morning after the short reign in pageant history. She was still in the lap when she gets a tap on the shoulder saying, uh, that crown is back. Miss Universe 2015 is... As Miss Universe for a two and a half full years in it. And then this happened. I have to apologize. The first runner up is Columbia. Miss Universe 2015 in Philippines. Harvey correcting himself, announcing the winner is really Miss Philippines. Miss Philippines, take your first walk. Creating one of the most moments in pageant history. A chorus of Phil Hall as Steve Thomas explained. Listen, folks, let me just get on to this. This is exactly what's on the card. Take responsibility for this. It was my mistake. It was on the car. Horrible mistake. I can show it to you right here. The first runner up is Columbia. Still a great night. And Steve was off. To sort it all out, Miss Columbia's crown gently moved, bestowed on the rightful winner. After one year old Colombian TV presenter and Graceful in defeat. So, so I'm happy. I'm happy for all what I did for for this, this dream. For so I'm so. Her fellow contestants in her corner. Miss Philippines to find the words to describe her awkward crowning moment. It's a very um non-traditional crowning. Moment. Guys, this was not a scoring error. This was not a misprint. He simply messed up that. So now, this is a made for what? Twitter. People yes. lost their minds last night. Some of these were fun. <laughs> I'll only give you one now. Someone making, put Steve's face on. Justin Bieber, is it too late now? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and again, I know we, we think it's just a beauty pageant, but that poor yes. They yeah. worked their lives for these moments. Yeah, that's that. so beautiful. And, and if she and win, probably the best way to lose. The whole world knows her now. We will hear a lot from her soon, I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks very much. Then you got to go to the morning's other time.